welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you guys that are new here my name is Tafazo Mutomba and on this channel we speak about everything related to academics today's video is a highly requested video both on my tiktok if you don't follow me on tiktok go ahead and follow me on tiktok um at t.mutomba also in my youtube comment section so you know what i've got you guys because we're keeping the content coming i'm very 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 excited about today's video but as you can tell by the title of today's video you know, this 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 is a very tricky situation. Ooh. <laughs> very tricky situation for some people right now, um, but it's fine because I've got you guys as always. I've got you guys. So, the big question. All right, let's start from the very beginning. So, here's the thing, you guys. If you're in matric, you're probably watching this. If you're in matric, right? So you're in matric, and you're about to apply to university, and you've heard. You know by the pipelines that you must use your grade 11 term 4 results and you're there thinking you know i didn't do too well i didn't do too well in grade 11 so what am i gonna do uni is that even an option for me don't worry i've got you guys um but yeah let's get started so let me just start off by saying this disclaimer let's let's, let's just put this on the table before we get started when you apply to university right um you will complete an application i don't want to say an application form but like it's online like it's a it's an application you complete your application it's not like a form but like you complete your application online right and then there's different requirements to your application um and like different things that you must submit in order for your application to be complete um before the universities can actually start processing it and all of that stuff right i will list a couple of them the first will be your um grade 11 term 4 reports the second will be what like um your id or something it's just it's stuff like that you guys know what i'm saying right um so in order for your um application to be processed you need to submit three things okay two reports let me, let me say that rather two reports the first is your grade 11 term 4 results and then the second is your um metric midterm results right Let's clear something else also. People are often like, no, you know what, it's fine. I didn't do too well in grade 11. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna submit my grade 11 term four results. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait, um, wait until like halfway through matric, get those results and then use that to apply. Here's the, here's the tricky situation. Here's, here's, here's where it gets, here's where it gets tricky. Ooh! Here's where it gets tricky, guys. I'm so sorry that I'm so jittery today. Like, there's just a lot going on right now, and I'm really excited about it, and I'm really happy. But anyways, let's get back to it. So yeah, a lot of people are like, no, okay, cool, I'll do that. But it's not. You don't really have an option. It's not like you can choose whether you want to submit your grade 11 term four results or not. If you're going to be applying in matric and you want to get a conditional um, offer, then yeah, you will have to submit your grade 11 term four results which is which is tricky because now it's like okay i have to submit this but i don't meet the minimum requirements for what i want to study where do we go from here where do we go from here so first of all i just wanted to start off by saying that i know you're probably stressed right now and you're probably going through the most being stressed and going through the most respectfully is not going to get you into university being stressed and going through the most is like you sitting and dwelling in the past and you know i could have done this and i could have done that it's late now let's leave what happened last year in last year and focus on what we can change what you can change is focusing on um you know doing well in matric focusing on getting getting your marks up focusing on you know creating study habits study routines all of that stuff that's what you can focus on um because like as sad as it is and like you know you do wanna i don't know kind of dwell and be like oh no blah, 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 blah. at the end of the day life moves on you flopped you flopped it's fine everyone flops we all flop there's nothing wrong with flopping you're not a failure you're not a quit it you're not a lose it um your load shedding notification if you know you know <laughs> um but anyways yeah that's what i'm saying that's just the very first thing um you can't change what's already happened so what do you do what what like what are what are the options and all the advice disclaimer before i start all the advice that i give to you guys is stuff that 
I have experienced, maybe not firsthand, but like stuff that um, I have either either seen people experience, stuff that I've seen to work, like stuff that all the stuff, stuff that I've you know gone through. So like if I'm giving you guys advice and like um, you don't think now it's not gonna work for me, that's fine. You don't need to take it. You don't you don't need to take it. Um, okay, cool. So this is what I suggest doing. So if you're sitting there thinking, okay, cool, but I don't meet the minimum requirements for this, 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 this. This is what I've heard from people. In fact, I've heard this from a lot of people um, as to this is what they did. So when you're applying, you're going to be given three options. Apparently it's two now. So you'll be given two options. So let's say you want to apply to UCT. UCT will give you two options. So you can apply for any two degrees that you want. Doesn't matter what faculty they're from. Doesn't matter. You choose whatever. To, obviously, they have to be undergraduate degrees. Um, so you'll choose, let's say, for example, for the purpose of this video, you want to choose uh, medicine as your first choice and what? actual sciences as your second choice let's say those are your two choices that you're trying to choose but then um like you're looking at the prospectus and you see you don't meet the minimum requirements for medicine this 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 is what i've heard people to do so people have said that what they've done is that um when you apply you're going to so your first option will be the degree that you meet all of the minimum requirements for because they'll give you pick first option second option so for your first option you're going to put it as the one that you do meet the requirements for and then your second option will be the one that you do want to study, but you don't yet meet the requirements for. Let me tell you why this is. So when you apply, if you don't meet the minimum requirements, they will reject you. This is for conditional offers. They will reject you and your conditional offers are based off of your grade 11 results. They will reject you straight up. No, it's not, it's, it's not a question. <laughs> it's not like maybe I might get lucky and they might see yeah, something in me. No, no, <laughs> they will reject you. Um, so the logic behind applying for your first choice with, as something that you do meet the requirements for is that you have the chance of getting accepted for that that's perfectly fine you know that you'll get rejected for your second option after you write your final metric um results your final metric exams um obviously you're hoping to have passed well and to have now met the minimum requirements and then when they do give a final office they will reevaluate the office that they gave you rejections for and they'll see okay cool we did reject her for um medicine but now we see that she meets the minimum requirements i bet then you get an offer so this is what i've heard people say to do so they said that yeah cool they had rejected me because of my grade 11 results but then i pulled up my socks in a trick and then um based on my metric results i got accepted so that is the first option um which i would recommend doing um the second option, which I don't recommend doing, I don't even know why I'm going to say it, I'm just going to tell you guys, just so you guys know what your options are. The second option is to pick degrees that you meet the minimum requirements for. This is why I don't suggest doing that. First of all, you can't go to university and study something you don't love. Let me tell you, it is hard. <laughs> university is hard. It is difficult. And the only thing that makes it worth it and the only thing that motivates you to actually, you know, Pull those long study session nights in the library and what, 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 what is enjoying what you're studying. Now, if you're sitting there and you've settled for something just because for just for the sake of studying, you're sitting in the library, you don't even enjoy what you're studying. You first of all, you're not gonna pass. Which, if you don't pass, you, you know, yeah, no, don't, don't, don't do that to yourself. Also, your mental health, you, it will, um. So yeah, that is the second option, which is also so the easiest option and the safest option. Just apply for stuff that you do meet the requirements for, but don't do that. I I do not suggest doing that at all. Um, and then the third option is to, this is for like people that might want to take a gap year and be like, okay, cool, grade 11 marks weren't good, whatever, cool. And you, but you know deep down inside that like let's say you know deep down inside that you want to study medicine so when you come to matric you are going to apply for medicine said reality is what's going to happen you will get rejected for medicine that is fine um and then what people most people do after matric is they just upgrade um their results or they just apply again the following year which is an option um so yeah there's there's there's, there's not much there's not like much to do there's not like much room to when it comes to like what are the different options 
um yeah it is just a lot of it's guys remember a lot of it is not actually in your control as much as like you may have all of these plans and you know strategic planning and you're saying okay cool i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this stuff this stuff this at the end of the day it's not your decision whether you get accepted or not is not your decision you would get amazing marks and still get rejected you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's, not, it's like it's not it's not in your control so don't like let stuff that isn't in your control stress you too much because you're in the trick you must be focusing you must be studying you must be having fun guys my trick is such a fun year have fun enjoy life chop life um and like try not to stress too much about the stuff that you you can't um the stuff that you can't control but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have questions leave it down in the comments i really love reading your guys's comments if you enjoyed the video let me know because yeah sometimes i need to hear that as well <laughs> and if you enjoyed the video okay maybe don't let me know yet so there will come a time where i'll tell you guys to let you know but right now don't let me know yet i'm not ready for that kind of criticism yet um but anyways i really enjoyed making this video for you guys i am going to cook myself some food because load shedding is starting in a couple of minutes bye